So what is the mass within the cubic, uh, within the unit cell? Well, we have how many atoms of chlorine and how many atoms of sodium, all right? So if uh, each one of these represents a chlorine atom, um, and of course the unit cell on the corners will have one eighth of an atom. We have eight corners, so that is uh, one atom. And then we have the faces, okay? Each face, when we uh, take that, the part that's within the cubic, uh, within the unit cell, will be half of an atom. And we have six faces, okay? So one half times six is three. So altogether, we have four atoms, okay? That is for the uh, chloride ion. And likewise, for the sodium ion, it will uh, be four atoms as well. And we can count that up um, here. We have, uh, in, in each of these positions, you'll have one quarter of an atom, because if you take half off from the left and then half of that from the front, you'll be left with a quarter of the atom. And that's in each of those positions. So there's four. And then here are four more, okay, around the center. And then on the back side, there are another four. So that's um, a quarter atom in 12 parts gives us three. And then let's not forget that there is um, a uh, sodium ion right in the very center of this unit cell as well. And so we have four atoms of uh, sodium or the uh, four ions really of, of those. Okay. So for the mass, we need to add up four chloride ions and four um, sodium ions. And that will give us the uh, mass within the unit cell. Okay. So we get that information from the periodic table. And you can see here that chlorine has a mass of 35.45, um, <clears throat> and we can use grams per mole there. And sodium has a mass of 22.99. Okay, so 22.99 grams per mole for sodium. And we have four of those, 22.99. And we have four of the chloride at 35.45, okay? So let's go ahead and sum this up. Four times 35.45, and we get 141.8, okay? And for the four sodium, we have four times 22.99, and we get 91.96, okay? This is uh, grams per mole, but I'll go ahead and sum that up. We add the 141.8, we'll get 233.76 grams per mole. Okay, so this is the total weight um, of those eight ions within the unit cell. All right, but that's grams per mole, so. What I want is just grams, so I need to uh, get the number of, um, I need to cancel out this moles, okay? So we'll 
do that by dividing by Avogadro's number, grams per mole times uh, 1 over 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd um, atoms per mole. Okay, and technically I should call this uh, unit cells here. Okay, because that's what we're talking about. This is the mass uh, per mole of unit cells and here's our mole we're talking about the unit cells so that works and this will give us grams per unit cell okay so uh, this value here will be um, let's see here 233.76 divided by uh, 6.022 exponent 23 and you get 3.88 times 10 to the negative 22 okay. grams per unit cell Okay. So for the density, here's our mass, and we previously calculated the uh, the volume up here. Okay, so mass divided by volume, and we get our density. Okay, let's put that here: 3.88 times 10 to the negative 22 grams divided by 1.737 times 10 to the negative 22 cubic centimeters. The, the factor of 10 to the negative 22 drops out. And when we divide this, we have 3.88 divided by 1.737. And we get uh, 2.2 three, four okay. grams per cubic centimeter. All right, so this is our calculated density for salt.